So at the end of March during quarantine, I was thinking of new video ideas to come up with that involved challenging myself. I attempted the splits in a day. Couldn't do it. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, ah, ah. But because that was at the end of the month, I looked at what April had in offer for me, and well, would you look at that. April has 30 days, and you know what that means. It's a perfect recipe to try something for a month. I talked to my YouTube community section to see what they could challenge me with. Dara said 100 squats each day. Just Vin said you could see how many push-ups or sit-ups you could do each day. In 30 days, you'd be fit AF. And like the mathematician I am, I put two and two together. So now, I'm attempting 100 squats, 100 push-ups, and 100 sit-ups added day for 30 days. Let's do it. Okay, so the first thing that I've got to do then is get my kit off so I can show you what my body is about, okay? This is day one of my body. You'll be able to clearly see in this video, I'm podgy. Some parts look better than others, like my back and thighs, but that's about it. This isn't one. For context, this was day nine of the UK lockdown, and I basically hadn't exercised in those days at all, and probably a week or so before then. As you can see, not very impressive. I currently weigh this amount. It's not good. And uh, do you know what? I don't know if I'm actually going to lose weight or gain weight. The diet's going to have to change a little bit as well. I'm going to try and go uh, healthier. I'm going to need to eat a lot of protein. That's going to be a certainty. Basically, I'm doing strength exercises every single day. I'm going to need to eat protein. Without further ado, though, let's get on with this. Oh, my God. That was 10. Jesus, what have I set myself up for? It was at this point that I knew I was in for a hard time, straight off the bat. I got on with the other exercises, though, determined to do this. So currently, I've done 30 of all three. I've got, I've got 70 to go. The squats I'm fine with. The sit-ups are a bit, nah, I think they're going to get worse, but it's the push-ups, man. It's so hard pushing my weight. I ploughed on through, though, and got the first 50 out of the way. I was proper puffing and panting at the end of it, so gave myself a few hours rest before I went back at it. Hopefully, this next 50 will be easier. <laughs> oh, no. What am I going to do? Oh my days, that's one, that's 51. I've completed the squats, I've completed the sit-ups. That's 100 done for the day. The push-ups, I've done 51. I don't know how I'm going to get this last 49. I can't lift myself off the floor. I'm going to have to dig deep, really deep. This was a real problem because I was stuck on 51 completed push-ups. But I'm not going to be beaten that easily. I managed to squeeze out the odd push-up one at a time. That's all well and good, but I'm not about doing one push-up and then resting. Oh, ten. Good. We're going to do it in tens. <laughs> That's 60 now. So in tens, I did it until a good 30 minutes later, we got to this point. Go! Oh, ah, hundred! Yeah, boy! Help me! I've got a headache. My arms hurt. My chest hurts. I've got 29 more days of that. This has been one lad. So it's day two and my body's not feeling the very best it could be feeling right now. Mate, my chest, it feels so tight. Like, I've literally just got out of the shower, and in the shower, I was, like, struggling to, to, to do this. I was like, oh, God, what am I going to do? This part of my arm, aching. My triceps, aching. Whatever that is, aching. Just everything's aching. Now, something happened yesterday when I went to do my second lot of 50 push-ups. I felt like my abs were going to fall out of my body. When I did my first one and I, I tried to pull myself back up, something really hurt. It hurt when I went to do the sit-ups too. <sighs> I don't know what that was. and I don't know if it's going to happen again. Uh, but if it does, that's probably something I've got to look out for. I, I, I don't know if that should be happening. Now, typically, if something hurts, it's probably not supposed to do that. With injury on my mind, I thought, shut up and get on with it, man. 
I have done my squats, I've done my sit-ups, I'm now seven push-ups away from completing day two. My chest, my triceps, I've died. I've been trying to attempt this now for the last hour and a half, just trying to get these push-ups done. I'm going to try and do it now. I might collapse a few times as I'm trying to do it. Once I'm in momentum though, I can sort of keep going. Seven. <laughs> yep, there we go. Good. Come on then. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven. Get in there. Day two is complete. It's day three and <laughs> I'm really struggling. I can't I can't lift myself off the floor. It's doing my head in. I'm at 30 push-ups. And I've been trying for the last 10 minutes to do my 31st push-up, and it's not happening. So I managed to push through the pain barrier and crack on. You'll notice in these push-ups here that my form, well, it's terrible. That's going to need some work, and my excuse at this point was that my ab region was absolutely destroyed, and I physically couldn't get down and back up again without doing it this way. So it's day seven. It's the, uh, the first day of lockdown where it's been properly miserable, except for me. Because today, I feel fantastic. Now, the first few days were difficult. Four, five, and six, and now seven. Absolutely smash on me. I'm, I'm just doing really, really well. And I've even got to the point now where I can try and correct my form and do a proper push-up. You'll see that I've tried to correct the form in this bit. It's still not great, but it's an improvement. It's only taken me seven days, and I can't do 100 push-ups with the correct form, so I'm still mixing it with the bad form. However, I'm going to look to do more and more as long as my body will allow it. So weighing myself then, I actually look like I'm more. I'm going to put the, the figure on the screen right now so you can see it. But it looks like, to me anyway, according to my scales that look like they're from World War II, I look like I weigh more than what I did at the start of this. In the running video, I did get injuries in my left calf, my sort of Achilles area. Um, and this one, I can't really feel many injuries, but if there was going to be one, it would either be my abs or my tricep on my right arm. My tricep feels really weird. There's something in there when I do push-ups, it's like twanging. It's like, the only way I can describe it is like if a butterfly was flying against my arm. It's really weird, or if someone, if, if it was like a bass guitar string and someone was strumming it, <laughs> that's what that's what it feels like. It just feels a bit strange. And then the ab thing, I think that happened on day one, and uh, I felt it a little bit since, but nothing major. If I can avoid that, I think I'm clear. I think I'm good to go for the thirty. Day twenty-one. It's four o'clock, and I've completed it. This is getting easy, so easy. It's boring. So I'm just out here now, and the. Uh, Beautiful lockdown weather. The birds chirping, nice little breeze, just chilling. The diet though, the diet has gone out the window, I'll tell you that. So quite simply, my diet has been absolutely shocking the last like three or four days. <sighs> it's the, what, honestly the worst part about me as a human being is what I eat. It frustrates me greatly because like, I, I could be so fit if I wanted to be, I think I'm addicted to sugar, honestly, and I'm living on the seafood diet, and no, not fish, I seafood, I eat it, so it's just like, I reckon when we get to the end of this, yeah, I'm going to look a little bit bigger in some respects, but I think generally, I'm not going to look much different at all, the only thing that's going to look different is the colour of my hair, which is currently blending in with this. I think the only way that this stops me now is if I get some sort of injury. My abs are fine, that thing that I thought was like a bass string is fine, my wrists are fine, everything is fine, I'm smashing through this challenge, it's so, honestly, it's boring, but I wanted to finish, it's boring, so the, probably the next time I see ya, day 30, and it's complete, because this, <laughs> uh, it's just frustrating, I've, uh, apart from the start, it's not been hard at all. Okay, it is day 30. We are here on the final day. Obviously on the last 30 day challenge, I didn't make it. I got like 22, 23 days in, I can't remember now. But this one, 
I've gone all the way through. And if I'm totally honest, it's got easier as it's gone on. Whereas the running one got harder as it got on. This one, bar one, two, three, everything else has been pretty straightforward. I haven't haven't struggled at all. I haven't had any injuries. I've had nothing along those lines of I'm going to stop, I need to stop. So I think for this, I'm going to do the last 10 of each things all in one go. And I've got my lovely camera woman, Rachel, to uh, film it for you. Eight, Eight nine, go 10, 3,000 squats in 30 days. All right, what am I doing next? Sit-ups or press-ups? Sit-ups, and on the line. Eight, nine, 10, 3,000 sit-ups in 30 days. Now the big finale. Eight, nine, ten. Go on then. <laughs> Three thousand of everything in thirty days. Hundred push-ups, sit-ups, squats, every day. <sighs> Are you impressed? I'm actually impressed that you managed to commit to something for a whole month. <laughs> So there you have it, a sort of anti-climax on the exercise standpoint. We'll get to the before and after in just a second, but before then, I'm just going to round this off. It just became really easy. Now, I know I'm a big lad, but once I was consistently able to push my weight, I felt like I weighed a bag of sugar, and I think that's what made it boring towards the end. It just became too easy. One thing that I will mention, though, while, yeah, I did consume a lot of protein, I've been eating a lot of bacon, beef, and chicken, and generally, three good meals in a day. It's the in-between that has completely knackered this for me. I've been eating pure shocking food. I don't know whether that's because it's lockdown and my family's baking every single day. Well it is, but at the same time, I can't help myself. Food is my absolute kryptonite. And I think like that's gonna have to be incorporated into a new challenge. Physically and mentally with exercise, I believe that I am very capable when I put my mind to it. Mentally with food though, I'm absolutely terrible and it's dragging me down. Anyway, thank you for watching. Here are the before and afters. The difference is subtle, but let me know in the comments if you can see it. Cheers. From my point of view, there isn't a lot of change. I think the most noticeable though is my shoulders. Yeah.